Rachel Schneider of Coming to My Senses, and welcome to the Inside View on Sensory Processing Disorder. In this question and answer video series, the SPD Foundation and I are partnering together to help answer some of your toughest questions on sensory processing disorder. Here's our first one. Ah, the dentist. I don't think there's a human being alive that actually likes going to the dentist. Sorry to all dentists listening to this out there, but I think it's true. Um, going to the dentist can be a supremely challenging activity for someone with SPD. If you think about it, it's completely out of our control. We can't control the sounds, and there are many sounds, and we can't control the lights, and there are many lights, and there is a whole procedure going on with all sorts of unfamiliar tools, and we can't do much about it. I was thinking about my own childhood and how I dealt with going to the dentist as a kid, so as some of you may know, I wasn't diagnosed with SPD until age 27 in 2010. Uh, when I was a kid, I didn't know what was going on with me. And I just knew that I didn't like going to the dentist. Uh, I didn't like going to the doctor. And I didn't like going somewhere after school. After a whole day of learning and spending time with my friends and coming home by bus, it was very hard to take a walk and go to the dentist, sit and wait in a waiting room and wait to be seen for what I didn't know, a cleaning or, God forbid, there was a cavity, <laughs> some sort of a procedure. Um, and I didn't know what to do about it, so I basically just hung along, hung on and stayed on for the ride. Um, as an adult, I've become more familiar, obviously, with my SPD and started to figure out, okay, what can I do to make this experience more pleasant? Because let's face it, if you have teeth, you're going to the dentist. So you have to go. So what can we do to improve upon the situation? So very recently, uh, I had some oral surgery done and I was thinking about how can I do this in a more pleasant way? The first procedure was later in the day, much like when I was a kid and it was after school. And I found that particularly overwhelming, although I did survive it, here I am, hi. <laughs> um, so over the next course, of the next few procedures relating to the first one, I started thinking, okay, what can I do to make this better for myself? So somebody recommended trying the weighted vest that they use to take x-rays at the dentist. And the second that that went on, I felt so much better. Because if you think about it, a dentist's office, the chair is in the middle of the room. So that's a proprioception nightmare right away there because now you're floating on this dental island that can lift up and lean back. Um, so having the vest on made me feel more secure and more safe and more aware of where my body was in the room. I also took this opportunity to use my blue tinted glasses, which is something that my occupational therapist had recommended for me and a vision therapist had prescribed for me. And they're just, they're like sunglasses, but they are of a color, they're blue. And I have two pairs, a lighter pair and a darker pair, and I put the darker pair on to help compensate with the fluorescent lighting and the lights coming from the dental procedure itself. And it felt so much better and I was able to tolerate the entire experience. It also helped during the actual drilling, the super not fun part. I brought an iPad, an iPod with me and I put in my little earbuds and I just relaxed into the music. So everybody's different with their sensory needs. Um, I was able to figure out my own sensory needs, but one of the things that also helped was compensating on opposite ends of the procedure with the tools and the exercises that make me feel relaxed. So I made sure to use my Wilbarger brush right before. Um, I may have used it after. I, I think I was in too much pain to use it. Um, by then it didn't matter. Um, and when I got home, I put on a weighted blanket and left it you know, pretty quiet in the room and just tried to relax and did some deep breathing. So if you or your teen or your child is struggling with going to the dentist, I hope that you guys will take a moment and think, gee, what would work for me? What would work for them? How can we make this experience a little bit more tolerable and a little less scary? Because at the end of the day, it is just the dentist. It is just a cleaning or a procedure and you will survive it, uh, hopefully. <laughs> so that's the view from the inside. I'm Rachel Schneider and I'll see you next time.